What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Untitled Rant Show. Be sure to put some titles down in the description below if you think you got a good name for the show so that uh, we can, of course, ignore it and keep calling it the Untitled Rant Show. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> this is just three guys talking about shit that pisses them off. Usually in games, it Pasty. could be other things. doesn't matter. Uh, I changed my topic up. I was going to do um, cooldowns, people that don't understand cooldowns this week, but I'm changing it up to people that don't want to learn the game they're playing and that's kind of affected by oh what wait, gamer I... damn it mangoose wait what did, did i take your jelly <laughs> legitimately that was my topic i switched mine back dude <laughs> <laughs> to people that don't understand cooldowns <laughs> two weeks in a row guys two weeks all right, in a row, baby. All right jelly so what was yours again <laughs> oh wow crazy idea but yeah people that refuse to learn the game they're playing and constantly try to play it like it's something else I and think then, this stems from all of us playing Hood, right? Yeah, oh, 100% it does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I guess following suit, I'll discuss some things I don't like about Hood. Or I'll say that it just kind of bothered me a little bit. doesn't ruin the game experience because I'm really enjoying the game, but it's just a little, little stuff. Bothers me. <laughs> all right. I suppose I'll kick it off. Uh, yeah, cool down. So Hood. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not talking Hood right now. I'm talking, no, I talking cool downs how people just don't fucking understand like they're like heal why didn't you heal me? why didn't you heal me why didn't you heal me why did you... murdoch where's the snipe where's the snipe it's like bro it there's a, like a delay like you know how you can't use your abilities over and over again i also cannot use my abilities over and over again the thing that really gets me too is if i do have a heal like i heal somebody as they're going into the fight and top them off and then they just get fucking deleted and they're like where was my heal i was like i healed you you got the full effect of that heal I don't know what to tell you. I, I, can't, I can't do it all over again. And it's especially bad with the ultimates. Like if somebody has like a like a Muriel in Paragon where, where it's a save your ass kind of ultimate, people lose their minds if that ultimate isn't used on them as soon as they need it. It's like, oh, yeah. she just saved your teammate. Why do you expect her to already have it up again? And then other other cooldowns that i don't understand again harking back to old paragon days with chimera how the fuck did he have ambush all the time like <laughs> he never had that on cooldown like it was you could just do it over and over and over again oh that was his kit it was just ambush 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 and then all the time <laughs> <laughs> ambush and turn into a blender that's all yeah. it was that was <laughs> yeah. that's literally it <laughs> Uh, no, I'm 100% with you on this Mangoose, and it's even, like, I play a lot of burst heroes and burst champions and things like that, right? So, burst, that's, their whole design is go in, cast your abilities one time, hope you get kills, and either get out or die. Like, that's the whole basis for them, for the most part. So, then you go in, you do your full combo, and it's like, why didn't you cast this ability? I did. I literally face-rolled my keyboard... And it's on cooldown. Please, God, I can't do anything <laughs> Please, else. Please, God. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know. They just, it, especially it's tough when you're not talking with them because then you, you want to coordinate, hey, I like I have this ability up, we can go now. But then they just want to keep going and they are they don't understand. Like, yeah, like, oh, can you wait, please? I have auto attacks, yes, but yeah, my, most of my stuff is the abilities right there, right? Throwing a Decker Ball, a Narbash Thunk, all... When you have yeah. like the one second left and they think you're ready and you're like, no, no, wait, I'm not. Go, come back, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it it kind of works the other way too. Like if I'm playing tank and I run in, soak up a whole bunch of cooldowns, a, a bunch of abilities, but my team still stays back. It's like, okay, it, it, even if I die, like, yeah, I died. All their stuff is on cooldown now. Now is your time to come forward and kill them. Like, d don't make my sacrifice be in vain. Yeah. Sometimes I'll go in as a tank fully expecting that I'm going to die, but I'm going to eat a couple ultimates and a couple abilities when I do that. And that's going to give the rest of the team the opportunity to push forward. People just don't seem to understand that. Like if you see them use their shit, they Go don't in. got it anymore. Go in. Go in. Go in. <laughs> Prime time to get it done. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, and understanding cooldowns like having a general idea you don't need to know like that guy has a 13 second cooldown on his thunk right yeah, yeah but yeah. you need like general feel of like okay it's probably still down i can still go in off of this versus yeah. the the time period that passes where it's probably back up like there's yeah i think cooldowns applies across the board of <laughs> 
all of that kind of stuff. Or you'll get like a Gideon that jumps in and ults, and it's like, did did you see the Narbash use his thunk? If no, don't just jump into the enemy team and ult because he's going to thunk you and you're going to die. Yep. Like, wait for that cooldown to be used before you engage. People just don't fucking understand at all how to how to work around cooldowns, like in so many different ways. It's, for Gideons, we just need to make a flow chart. Did Narbash thunk yet? If yes, <laughs> yeah. we are. If no, wait. <laughs> If enemy team has Narbash, Bellica, and Richter, you're fucked anyway, so. <laughs> Dude, it's tough even in League, especially when you have the summoner spells, because then you have to worry about flash and, like, a teleport or a heal or something. And especially if your flash is down, I mean, they're going to come hunting for you, and you know it's down, but it's like a five-minute timer, so it's a little hard to know when it's back up, but that's why people are always, like, typing, like, all right, you guys, this guy flash, you know, it, it's up in yeah. like five more minutes. But then no one that fucking comes in ganks! When the guy flashes down! From the other perspective, as a jungler, when I see somebody like, oh, their flash is down, I'm like, that's prime time for me. Like, <laughs> I'm ready to go. And then they push their lane in. It's like, no, no, no. He's He can't get away. Let him push you, please, God. Yes. The five minute cooldown. Yeah. Oh, it's nuts. Ugh. Or your teleport's uh, down in off lane and they're on dragon. And the guy's like, where's our top laner? I'm like, I'm pushing the tower because I can't just sprint down there real quick. And it's even worse, I think, in League. If you're if it's like your own cooldowns because you can ping them and tell your team yeah. exactly how long they have left yeah so if for like smite right if i'm a jungler and i don't have smite for another six seconds but my whole team why didn't you smite literally yeah because yeah, i'm pinging it much of the chat six, bar saying i five, do not have it four. what do you mean why didn't i smite like <laughs> oh man it's ridiculous all right i think that's about all i had on that topic okay <laughs> i think this next one we're all gonna have lots and lots of feelings on oh, yeah. so all right so, playing games the way they're intended to be played. That So, for instance, we've all been playing Hood. Hood is a very different game than I think a lot of people expected, but it also just feels and plays differently. If you're going into Hood, trying to play it like Overwatch, <laughs> you're going to have a bad time because it's not Overwatch. Right? It's not, it's not, you have to learn the mechanics of the game you're playing and play them the way they're intended to be played, the way right. they're meant to be used. And I think we've seen this this last couple days, lots of people are angry at not doing that exact concept. That they say the game is bad because they refuse to learn how the game actually works more than it actually is bad. Uh, Raven and I were playing earlier with this guy that had, uh, had his mic on and was- Oh, this guy. Freaking out. And, and I'm watching him he's running face first into like three members of the enemy team and then getting mad because they killed him. I'm like, bro, you're not going to want, if this is a stealth game, like just come like, and he's like, he would run in on the John because I'm not running in with him because I'm waiting for the rest of the team to catch up. And it's like, Oh my God, dude, you're, what do you expect? What did you expect to happen? Did you think that you were going to fucking 360 no scope all three of them or some sh some bullshit? You're not going to do that. You're going to be fucked. I was I was confused too because the guy was playing Robin and then he's just running into th three of them and he's trying to like kill them all and he's freaking out. He's like, "Oh, that John character, he's so stupid. I'm going to play that character." I'm just like, "Bro, you're playing Robin, who's ranged. You're supposed to be back and getting headshots and you can instantly kill them." Imagine that. That's what I was doing. This guy just yeah. wouldn't understand it. Or then just like capturing the points, like no one understands we need those points. So then they're just like, I don't know, like they're running around. I don't know what they're doing because then they're not communicating. So, yeah. People complain so much that games are so, so same, same now. But when something new and different comes out, they freak out because it's not the, it's same, not the same as, what they're, yeah. as <laughs> what they're used to. It was like King's Hunt. We've all three played King's Hunt. Mm -hmm. Very different game than what you may be used to. But people would go in like it was a MOBA. Or they would go in like it was just like a brawler and they wouldn't pay attention to any of the mechanics that win you the game. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and that would get them toasted. You saw it in Paragon too. Uh, Paragon was the first MOBA for a lot of people. People tried to treat it like it was a, a third person looter shooter or some shit. It's like, no, bro, you got to farm up <laughs> was to get powerful and shit. I think that was a lot of people. Yeah, but it was. Some people took the time to learn the game. And then got a, an, a great experience out of it and loved and, you know, found a love for MOBAs while other people just got pissed off that they can't understand why they were level three and couldn't take on a level nine Murdoch, you know? 
Absolutely. But like what we were I saying. Think, yeah. Oh, you want to go? I think it goes toward like in, in a MOBA, like if we're going to tie it to the MOBA genre, you wouldn't take a enchanter support and turn them into your AD carry because that's just not what they're built for. They're not intended to be used that way. So why are you going into this game trying to play it like it's something else? Because it's not. You have to learn for what it is. Right. Yeah. I was just going to say, like, I mean, we've we've already all said it, but yeah, like, everyone thinks it's it's some high-paced, fast action multiplayer game when it's it's not. And I, as soon as I played a couple games, I was like, I was just hooked because it to me it felt like old Rainbow Six Siege when it first released. You had uh, minimal characters, but the gameplay was slow, and it was actually you needed coordination and communication. Whereas now in Siege, you could just run around and like frag out, kill all five of them. Like, oh, look, round's over. But this, yeah, it requires that teamwork effort. And and I like the slow. It's refreshing to me to play a slower paced game like this. That's still satisfying. Because then, yeah, you get those plays or you get that last winch. And it just feels so good when you win. And working as a team together anyway. Yeah, it it's yeah. that feels good too. When everyone's just coordinated like that. So. Yeah, we kind of the reverse of the experience I was talking about a second ago, we had the the first game we played today, we had two other people in comms and they were amazed that it so that they had two people in comms. Yeah. Them. And the four of us worked together and just demolished that round. I felt bad for the enemy team because they just had zero chance. Oh yeah. There's been I've been playing in a four stack for Hood as well, right? And a, a lot of games, <laughs> definitely more often than not. <laughs> definitely more often than not, the coordination levels change the, the whole thing that you can you understand your strengths and weaknesses as a group and know where to move and how to do things you're playing the game for what it is and you win because of it like it's it's just that simple yeah yep people just need to know what they're playing and play it <laughs> sidebar a little bit to go back to last week's episode though uh the amount of people hot micing in hood Dude, oh driving it was so bad today <laughs> Some guys is like talking and then I hear like a literal conversation going on in the background and I go, hey, like you got some people in the room. He goes, oh no, sorry. That's probably a video. These people like, sound no, like they're in definitely... the room talking to him or like having a conversation. It's so bad. And then another guy's got music going. That was actually the guy I was freaking out earlier. We were just talking about this. Like he's got music playing in the background. Every time he talks, so I hear just hear music. I'm like, come on. You know, you hear screaming. And he's singing along with his music too. It's like, oh my god! It's like, are you even playing the game or <laughs> hanging out? He's got to get his heist music going, right? Listening to his jams, running down the map. Yeah, screaming about John killing him over yeah. and over again when he's trying to fucking <laughs> melee him with stop it, man. I can't punch him. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> my bow. God. All right. I you, you... Well, I yeah, mean, I just like, leading right into the next thing, I'll just bring up that the. Some things that I don't like, and you guys can add to it, obviously, or comment. Uh, the first thing is having multiple the same character. I do think there needs to be some kind of limit because we've went against three Johns before. And yeah, you can counter it once you figure it out. But that sh first shock of just going against the three of them, it's uh, you almost feel helpless because once they run up on you, you can't do anything. So that's a little frustrating. Or we went against three Marianne's. So, like, they're all going invisible and just ex executing us right away, and we just can't counter yeah. it. That's tough, too. So, I don't know. Maybe, like, drop drop it down to, like, you can only pick two of one character. Something like that. But, uh, I mean, they're going to add new characters anyway. So, once that happens, I don't see that happening a lot, hopefully. Uh, one thing I noticed today was that kind of kind of is a little annoying to me. Uh, there is Peeker's advantage when you're playing Robin. At least on Robin. It's probably the same on Marianne. I'm not sure. I've only played a couple with her. Yeah. But this one guy... Let's say here's here's a wall, and he was peeking it on this side. And because you're always on the right, you're always right-handed, then you see the all the right side. But I was pulling right and trying to peek him when he was peeking around it, but I can see from the left. So he actually shot before his head even came around the corner and killed me. And I was like, well, I couldn't even <laughs> hit him. There was no counter there. So that might be an issue. And then another thing, I guess, it's... This one kind of pisses me off a lot, but I, I guess it makes sense blocking arrows and again like if you have a john run up on you man my damage is my arrows and when this guy could just go Tick. yep Tick. <laughs> i'm like all right what am i supposed to do now just die <laughs> like come on i was actually talking about that earlier today as well and that i think for the ranged characters in hood 
they need to be able to break block by like shooting the person in the foot or something. Like if I shoot them in the legs it's while they're blocked something. up top, I should be able to do something to yeah. them because yeah, they just block those arrows. It's like, well, yeah. Yes, I just And then I'm out of stamina anything, from then. dodging and like, then I'm like, okay. Am well, I forced they... to build melee cuz there's a with the perks you could go like stronger melee, but then I don't have any fucking arrows. Yep. They can't they can't block while they're attacking though. I'm 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 on the melee yeah, he, side of this. He's there. against this, but yeah, I'm I'm definitely against this. I don't want to be able to get, get just shot in the face and die immediately because if the headshots kill, I gotta I fully I gotta charge have, one. But if they have health, I gotta have some way to fucking counter, quick one's not gonna kill you. Robin. I don't think you should take full damage by any stretch of the imagination, right? But just being able to negate everything and just eat your stamina bar for an arrow that hits you square in the face while you're just holding your hammer over it. Yeah. No, no chance. Sorry. Dude. It's a big hammer. It's a big <laughs> hammer. Well, then the, the other counter is going to be like, hey, I'm playing Robin. You know, you, I should go up and like hang out in a tower somewhere. Which, yeah, sure. But I'm also helpful kind of closer in the team fight as well. At least from my experience so far. Yeah. I mean, I've seen Robins hang out literally uh do you know that the dock map jelly i think mm -hmm. it's yep i don't know if it's, yep. it's not outpost but the uh, one with the docks in the outpost. harbor yeah one of the robins was up like on the by the keep side there's a, a rope and he was just hanging out up there and just sniping my teammates and they're, they're like oh my god bro this robin's so good he's all 53 sitting everyone i'm sitting here on the other side of the wall i'm picking this guy left and right too and i'm like all right guys like i got him like all right let's go <laughs> not that good but like oh to be fair he hit some nice shots but like Still, like that's that's the thing with Robin. Like you're gonna sit back and do that. Like that's fine. I like that. And if they're on the winch, oh man, I love when they're on the winch because it's just easy pickings. Oh, I hate that. It, their heads moving, but as, as long as you time it, it's just insta kill. Cause I'm John, so I'm always on the win winch. <laughs> I just, I'm like, like, I got you, man. Good swear. Like, Especially that Miriam just pops out of nowhere and assassinates you while you're on yeah. the. <laughs> Ugh no greater feeling there's no greater feeling than the only thing that's better actually is killing an ulted john with assassination oh, yeah. walking up behind him while he's glowing and just being like i love no, that thank yep. you very much i could do that with the oh, arrow too on robin feels good <laughs> feels good yeah. for me there's no greater feeling than parrying somebody's attack and then watching them hit the ground and then just smashing them with my hammer dude we were on that harbor map and uh, I think Mangus was winching and some guy comes running up and I'm like, yo, yo, Mangus is a guy on you. He just turns around, bonk, crushes his skull. Another guy comes up, bonk, crushes it. I'm like, ah, oh, you're good. I don't need, I don't need to help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. The key to that to victory in that game seems to have your John just kind of distract people by holding his block up front while everybody else just picks him off. We had a I tough did. game today too because I was the only ranged character. I was I was Robin and we had two Tooks and a John. But I so now I'm sitting here having to deal with two Robins and Marianne. I think they had a John. Or was, uh, they at least had two Robins. So I'm like, yeah. holy fuck. I'm sitting here trying to take one out, but then I'm getting shot by the other one. And these two can't these other three can't do anything because they're all the way up up there. You're fucking crazy with your aim though. I'm so. trying, man. I'm trying. <laughs> that shot. I saw right. a Reddit post today, actually, that I think Kind of sums up what we were talking about with like being willing to learn the game you're playing probably the same one i read too or hood and it's a, it's basically talking about how people overreact in ridiculous yep. ways yeah. to nothing uh but yeah day one tons of johns dominating the game stealth didn't seem as important as four johns and tooks could just ransack the map players have two choices go on reddit and complain and post the game is a lie and they're refunding <laughs> or think about how to counter the day one heavy <laughs> heavy melee meta day two <laughs> Someone posts a video of Marianne being played properly and everyone loses their minds. I people are getting assassinated mid-melee brawl because they picked John and Took, so obviously people figured out how to counter. At this point, people had two choices. Go on Reddit and complain about the fact that the game is unbalanced and they're refunding, or think about how to counter Marianne. Day three, some players will adapt their strategies against Marianne and mid-combat assassinations. People will discover a new way of leveraging game mechanics for an advantage. At this point, People have two choices. Go on Reddit and complain because, well, let's be honest, people are always going to complain or think about the current state of the game and learn how to adapt to it. Like, it's just... The game hasn't even been out fun. like three days. They have, everyone's just freaking out. This is It's just the general public in general now. It's just they get... If they don't... It's not what they want. It's just the end of the world. Mm -hmm. People thought that they were going to be able to go into this game, charge around, 
fuck people, people up like for honor. honor. A lot of people thought it was gonna be like yeah, for they honor thought it was combat. gonna be for honor. Yeah, and yeah. and it's not, and and they're pissed off because they're losing because of that. Yep. Something I think that's really nice, at least from what I've played in Hood, is everything feels like rock paper scissors. Yeah. It feels like there is a definite like if I do something, there is a definite counter to me doing that. But I also have advantage to somebody else that has a really strong thing as well. So it like just kind of goes in a circle through everything, which I really enjoyed. Did you see the winching uh, comment that someone made a post about? Yeah. Yeah, I was talking to Mangoose about that, but some people don't like that mechanic because then, yeah, if you wait till the last checkpoint, then you can just sneak up and take it. But what I was saying and that someone else said is that, I mean, that's the whole game anyway. It's like we're outlaws, so you get gold through everything else, the assassinations, the killing and all that, and then the checkpoints on the winch, but... Sure, someone could come up and take the end, but you might they might not get more gold than you, even though you lost. And yep. I guess that's what it comes down to. But then it was Do we have two winching bars, one for each team? But then that wouldn't look right when you're actually it's actually getting sent away, because one's farther, one's lower. Or have one and then you gotta like take out their progress and then you can do your progress. I don't know. I think I it's know. okay right Weird. now, but who would be interesting? Well, is that is that, uh, is that it? Is, is that it for your comments? For your for your for your complaints? For your complaints? It's good, yeah. <laughs> uh, just real quick, uh, the comments. Um, one one that I picked out was uh, Blood Hunter was talking about, um, not only hot mic and but people that, in are intent on you know being in comms and having a mic but they talk about everything else except for the game that they're playing at the time. Like just ha trying to have like a neighborly conversation and you're like, <laughs> which is fine. You can talk about shit if you want to, but when I'm trying to communicate that there's like a gank coming to the left lane and you're fucking sitting there talking about your pot roast or some shit, like <laughs> 100%. That can be annoying. <laughs> yeah, I know. I feel that too. And then uh, Colin or Rashido here, he was... He was saying he doesn't have a problem with big streamers playing a game early because the way he sees it, yeah, it does bring in a lot more eyes to the game. And that, theoretically, I mean, technically, it's a good marketing strat. Overall, it just sucks for everyone else. But in the end, it's going to get them more money, probably, anyway. And See, you know. so what I'll say toward that end, Hood actually gave those big streamers the same play time that we get. So yeah, they are. On Friday, on Friday, when it released, the streamers could all play it as well and that's when the sponsored content actually started yeah um so applaud them for that because i think that made sense and guess like, what for... they're already stopped playing it not Trout, all of them soda not popping all of them. <laughs> those two at least and uh, uh the comment you were referring to as well they uh colin made, made a, a good example of how when games get sent to like pr firms like a week early so like like ign or something so that they can play it and review yeah. it it's kind of like that, but I think a reviewing video like that is a little different than a Twitch streamer get, just getting it to play it like a day earlier than everybody else. Certainly is. And then Ford's there. You off, Jelly. Our boy Ford's are there. I was talking about the maps, unless Jelly was saying something else. No. Okay. Ford's are talking about unbalanced maps, competitive PvP games. He's talking about Paragon's map was unbalanced. And Siege definitely had its fair share of unbalanced maps. I can agree with that from my experience. <laughs> and then he's also mentioning RTSs, but I don't know about RTSs. Is that is map advantage a big thing for those? Depends. Like yeah. a StarCraft? I'd have to ask my buddy. There's, there are definitely maps where your starting location makes a difference, but I think it depends RTS to RTS and how it's set up. And to be that's like but Valorant it, too. I mean, Valorant has defender heavy maps or attacker heavy maps. Yeah, it is frustrating. It's hard to, unless you're going to do it in exact mirror image, it's hard to have like a halo. one side be the same as the other, right? There's always going to be a slight disparity, but if you can do something to make that as close as possible, like Riot's been doing with Valorant, is they try and alter the maps to keep that percentage within like 1% of either side. Yeah. That way it's it still more comes down to skill than it does you just happen to be defending on this map. Right on. Well, I think that's about all I had for this week. Um, you guys have anything to plug? No. Raven on YouTube. <laughs> Jelly? Jelly knees on YouTube. Yep. <laughs> that's that's about it. All right. I did an honest hero review. First one I've done in months. 
last one I did was Boris. And that would have been years before that one. So check that out if you want to. But uh, I think that's going to be it for this week. Thank you for joining us for the another edition of the Untitled Rant Show. And we will see you guys later. Bye. Mangoo!